So there's the swivel base at the base of the tower. Here's the same idea. These four bolts are called outriggers. There'll be a better picture on the website of a real crane and how outriggers work. It gives a, a wider stance to the crane, easier to, uh, to level things out too. Okay, so here's the, the situation we had before where the crane was um, could pivot. This is called a fulcrum, the pivot point. Remember when the crane was about to tip? It tips on, the, on these uh, outriggers. This is distance from the uh, pivot point to the center of gravity is 10 inches. That's from, remember, here's the pivot point down there to the center of gravity of the crane, someplace in here. And that's 40 pounds. The crane weighs 40 pounds. And that distance was 10 inches, just like with the seesaw. Weight times distance. So that's what, so you got 400 inch pounds. Pounds times inches, that's how you get it. So on the on one side of the equation, you have four, 400 inch pounds. Now the load and the boom weigh 20 pounds. And the distance from the center of gravity of the, of the load here to the pivot point is 12 inches. Weight times distance, you get 240 inch pounds. This is bigger than this. So the crane is stable. Now, when we swiveled, when I slewed the crane 90 degrees, now it's going to tip this way. So these are the outriggers it's going to tip on. And the distance is not 10 inches, six and a half. OK? So the weight is the same. But now it's six and a half instead of 10. We got 260 inch pounds. So the distance from the center of gravity of the crane to the pivot point got smaller, but the distance from the pivot point to the center of gravity of the load got bigger. Same three and a half inches. It's 12 to 15 and a half. That's what you get. So now 310 is bigger than 260, tips over. It's really that simple. Okay.